Well, we got the newest member of the Vikings Ring of Honor, the ticket, Kevin Williams, joining me today on the car. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I, uh, everybody know the ticket going on around here. Right? <laughs> they, they've been sharing that nickname. Well, we got to get into it because Ben Lieber said that Kevin Garnett was the big ticket in town, yeah. but they had a, a, another Kevin in this locker room. And he was the big ticket to y'all, and I guess that's you. So, is, is there another definition behind they, why they called you Ticket? Uh, man, it, the, I was the young guy, drafted first overall, and uh, those old heads, Billy Lyon to be exact, he was like, "We got big ticket, so we're gonna call you Little Ticket." So, you know, after a while, KD went to Boston, and so I just I just uh, graduated to okay. the big ticket <laughs> once he left town. So it. I mean, it kind of stuck. It kind of stuck. Man, he just got inducted into the Ring of Honor. The six overall, well, the six defensive tackles to be inducted. How did how did it feel just knowing that the fans were just going crazy and you meant so much to this community? It felt good. I mean, uh, to to like you said, be the sixth defensive lineman and the third defensive tackle. That's that's what I was really looking at. I was like, when the two in front of me are are the goat at the position, if you ask me, you know, Hall of Famers, Johnny Randall and, and uh, Miss Allen Page. So yeah, it, it was great to be in this in this fraternity with those guys. So, you, I mean, you know, your, your ticket never got punched on draft night. <laughs> and now your ticket's getting punched into the ring of honor. During that time of before the draft until now, was, was there, was this ever the, the end goal to, to, to be in the ring of honor or, or to be celebrated of such? Man, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't – that's not why I played. I played, you know, because I love the game. It was fun. And, and me and Pat joked – Pat Williams joked all the time about, hey, I'm going to go in the ring before you and, and all this stuff. But, uh, you know, it kind of was at the back of my mind. I mean, we had so many great, great players come through the Vikings organization. So, for me to get picked and put in the ring this soon, man, it's, it's still like – I don't know, it's still unbelievable to me. So so I, I really enjoyed it and just soaked it all in. When you, when you have two guys like the Vikings, Dalvin Thomas and Michael Pierce, that, I mean, Michael Pierce sat where you were sitting and said, you know, I would like to be called the Williams Wall 2.0. For, <laughs> for, for guys to say something like that, like how does that feel for you? And what's your thoughts on their play? Um, I think those guys, they, they, they do a great job up front. and. Uh, I was telling somebody not too long ago, they, they get after the passer a lot better than I thought and, and probably a lot better than, than my, my counterpart, Pat. <laughs> but uh, but it's, it's a great compliment, man, to, to have those two looking up to us. I mean, it's kind of the way we did, the way we learned about the Purple People Eaters right. and, then, and then John and Henry Thomas and, and Dolman and all those guys. So it's kind of it's kind of just trickling down and the, the next generation, it's yeah. their turn, and they're looking at the guys before them. I mean, you gotta, you gotta know that was a tough crowd to follow. Yeah. Those guys that we came behind and Hall of Famers, exactly. So, hopefully, one or two of us out of that bunch can get to that level, and uh, and, and represent this generation. The talk of the town is still the 09 season when Brett Favre got here. How good that team was, and, you know, things of that nature. But I gotta ask you, does it hurt more? not making the playoffs or getting that far in the playoffs and then not making it to the big dance? <laughs> Man, they all hurt to me. I mean, because you, you got to look at it. You put in so much work for this little small sample size of 16 games every year. Yeah. And to and to not make the playoffs, which is the first step to, to get into a championship, it's tough because then what are you doing? You, you're just resetting. You're starting all over. You're losing guys. You're, you're not playing with the same guys. So, I mean, I was fortunate enough to be here in Minnesota 11 years, so I saw a lot of people come and go. Yeah. So, so you know, it's, I think I what, made the playoffs maybe five times out of 11 years. So, I mean, it, it, they all hurt because, I mean, you got to look at it. You're losing a little bit of yourself every year that you're not going to have the next year because, right. I, mean, I mean, it's just the nature of the game. I mean, we're playing a physical game, and, and it right. takes a toll on you. I mean, you're still young, so I'm not about to say, like, how do you want to be remembered? <laughs> but for Vikings fans who got the opportunity to see you play for 11 years, just with the purple, like, now that you get inducted to the Ring of Honor, for you, for the message back to them, how do you want to be remembered as the ticket? 
a guy that showed up and tried to do it the right way. And uh, and one of those old heads told me when I was a rookie, the best availability, I know it's cliche, <laughs> the best ability is availability. Yeah. So I tried my darnest to show up every Sunday, give the fans a show and what they was there to see and get wins and try to help this team. And just know, I mean, hopefully you can tell I left it on the line and, and, and play hard for the purpose. Yeah, well, you set, you set the bar high for a lot of these guys that's coming after you. So hopefully they can take that torch and get us the ultimate promised land. But appreciate your time today. Congrats again. You know, I'm sure we'll be seeing you around here soon, man. Oh, definitely. No problem. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's Kevin Williams.